Right, this is the next project and I've drawn it out in uh, Fusion 360 uh, to get uh, my CNC to cut this out. Uh, this is going to be uh, a carriage stop for either you know, Chester uh, lathe the DB10 or uh, I think it's the uh, same as the uh, Zeeg uh, 6. So I've uh, put provision for a 8mm hole there for a dial indicator. And uh, that's going to be a 6mm threaded hole for the stop, for a, a rigid stop. Also, it's uh, machined a hole for the uh, to locate the dial indicator to fasten it, hold it in. Uh, the carriageway has got a 45 degree cutout for it, uh, but it's got a flat top so when the, my CNC comes in here it will go down to there and it will just leave a small round at the top but that won't matter because the ways of the uh, lathe I've got a quarter inch flat top on the top of it so that should be all right and so uh, I've um, done the cam on it, created the g-code, uh, that's the contour it's going to do, it's going to drop down half a mil every time and go round, it's rather than a big cut out, it's 25 mil and uh, those are it's going to uh, pop the locations of the two holes. Uh, and my origin is the middle of the block. So that's that. We'll go and uh, cut it out on the mill now. Are you working on this project or not? No. All right. Right. <coughs> I've loaded the G code that I created on my uh, on my Fusion 360. Uh, I've got a block of aluminium here, it's an odd shaped piece but I've dressed uh, two of the sides so I can clamp it and I put a centre pop uh, for the origin and I've lined up on that so uh, we can start the g-code and see what happens just regen in the tool path as you saw on Fusion 360, it's quite a big tool path because it's it's got uh, 25 mil to cut through, and it's going down half a mil at a time. If it'll run at that, I might have to alter the G code and get it running at uh, two two hundredths depth at a time. Put a WD on it. I might have to do this again just it's going the wrong way. Right. Have to zero it again. come back in a second. Right, we're ready to go. Uh, I want to slow it down a bit for the first pass.
coping with that pretty well. That's a um, half a mil just of foot each time. Right on the morning, 30 mil, yeah, from there to there, that's right, so everything else should be right. There's a shot of the G-code running on the computer, that's Mark 3. Very clear. And that's the depth we are now, at 12 and a half mil deep. Right, I've been and redone the G code. I stopped that at about 12 and a half mil depth because it's got to have tabs on when it breaks through or it'll be a mess. So, what I've done now, I've just loaded the G code to pop two holes and I might drill them manually using the G code to position so I'll just change tool Take the six mil cut it out for a minute and pop in this center pop, center drill. This is only going to put a a one mil center so we can locate for drilling. Uh, should move over and put two holes by there.
Oh, it's as rough, as rough as a bear's washing on the back there. Centre door. Keep meaning to take it out and turn it around and reset. And keep it again. So what I'm going to do now is to send this back to zero. to the first position and stop it. A bit long winded but make sure everything's on the money. Chuck in and the right size drill, and we'll drill that through there, and then the holes will be done. to the other one and put a I'll drill two holes with um, no I'll put a four mil through there and then follow it again with a six mil and I'll put a four mil through there and follow that with the eight mil and uh, then the hole drilling will be done. Oh, I nearly 
made a mistake then. But it's going to be a tap six on the hole, so I want the next drill to be. Um, I don't think four and a half is the tap size, is it? Just bear with me while I check. Maybe made another mistake. Five mil is the drill size. We need so that was lucky. We had four and a half first one. Just finish this through and then. Uh, Five through, and then I think I'll put my cap through at the same time. I think that would be a good idea while we're in the position. Right, so that's four and a half. Five mil is what we need for tap size. try not to make mistakes but I um, invariably do and at the moment I'm just checking that I've got a 5mm drill in my hand I should be uh, I should just plunge right through really Uh, go and find my uh, tap over. 